How's it going everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually make montages like Kaiser. Uh, Kaiser is basically a guy who makes card montages like, you know, they're pretty sick. Here's a preview of one. Probably gonna get copy striped by that, but yeah. So we're, we're gonna open After Effects. We're gonna click on New Project. We're just gonna find our clips, which is right here. So we found our song. We're just gonna put it there. Uh, now we have to find our clips. Alright, so let's just use this one, I guess. Now make sure to put your clip near here, near this box thingy. And right, let's get caps. And before you actually do anything, if you're beginning to After Effects, normally this would be on full. You want to make that to quarter. I know it's going to be a, a little bit pixelated, but it's going to help you a lot from processing standpoint i guess it basically won't lag you out and crash like after effects each time you play it before that we're actually gonna mute the audio and we're just gonna add it in filmora afterwards we add the song here we click ll after that we click the plus sign two times or three times if you want to be really fine uh It's gonna slow down like something like that all the time because it's actually rendering it, you know. Yeah. So you can see here the first beat is hold on, let's actually like not show this. Alright, so you can see the first beat hits here. Alright. Then the second beat is probably gonna be here because there's a spike in the chart yep. and another one right here another one here and we're just gonna speed this thing up we're only gonna do it up to seven bars so all right i'm gonna click the eyeball again let's see one okay, so here we got like a cool uh what is it called 2k wait by the way this is these are actually just some are bots actually but some are base this is actually just a shipment map a match if you don't don't see already so you can see here a good 2k you can see it pulls out right here click delete on that part and now we have our clip so Normally, you guys already have the clip. You don't need to scrap through it. Uh, so we can see here no flow whatsoever, which is half of this called the montages. It's just music and gameplay. But yeah. So what you're gonna do is actually click this, uh, right click, then click timeline, not timeline, time, and enable timer mapping. After that, you wanna click. You want to mark the start and end of each clip because that's going to be important later. And after that, you want to mark each kill. So basically, when the scope like punches in like that, it normally is like the shot. And then after that, we'll mark the other one. Yeah, there we go. So it's going to be Yeah, so it's synced, but it's not. it doesn't have any flow to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold left click and we're gonna drag to the end to start and you can do it to start to end if it matters to you i guess and you want to click f9 on your keyboard that just turns it on that just turns on easy ease so you want to highlight it highlight it again after that click this chart thingy the graph editor and after that we're working so you want to click the plus sign again and minus to refine it and unfine it, I guess. And you want to click on a random spot because if you don't, it's going to bind all these like prones or lines, which is going to make your video all appear. And after that, you actually just want to make sure to drag it up, but just right below the next point, I guess. And you do the same for the other one. Just make sure it's right below or above the line because if it's like like this just fully above it and this fully below 
you can see actually the graph like just going up and going down which is we don't want that we need it to go up straight then up Boom. yeah a little bit lower so basically that creates flow now i gotta run this i gotta render it so yeah so that makes that so it already has a little bit of flow but when we get the kill it actually turns into normal so we gotta also edit that and we're gonna name the project something like i don't really normally name a project i just button mash it because i don't normally come back to it i guess and after that that's it that's actually your first clip now if you're one of those like tiktokers that actually just do one clip fast and slow-mo actually actually if you want to do those type of videos this is actually the way to go if you have a pc now for mobile it's a different standpoint you know it's more goofier the the frame blending actually i haven't talked about frame blending it's way worse than pc because you know it's mobile so after that you want to click on your clip and after that you want to click this and double tap this so what that actually do is frame blending it creates fake frames when your video slows down or between frames you know so you can see there there's a little bit of flow so after that when you actually done the flow when you done the frame blending part you're actually gonna go and type in rsmb now you can type in rsmb downloads for in youtube to get like rsmb rsmb pro uh, it's really up to you and all right so you, you can normally do this part within like 30 seconds which is not really time consuming but you get tired of it all the time so you gotta have like i don't know three day breaks it depends on your laziness and you know so we're just gonna mark the end of this video of the clip go through composition and paste in the end of the video where you want it to end i want it to end right here so the next clip can roll in fine so it goes out of this it's a little bit blurry because it's on the quarter half but trust me it's gonna look fine when it's exported now you want to go to looks now you want to download red magic boot looks and all the cc's of it now this may be unknown to you but there's gonna be tutorials on youtube on how to install LUTs, how to install magic boot looks so just watch that i'm gonna leave the link to the description what you want to do is click edit now we're gonna click on the cc that you want to do so for example lovely you nice glow i can see your peanut butter jelly and if you want to do like ifergs i don't know like kill thingy hold on so basically when iferg does the montages like his editor picks i don't know like the ghost one oh yeah i think it's fog so basically this is what iferg's editor uses in his montages i guess like when there's a montage part because i don't know maybe it's just it's a vibe so we're gonna click there Alright, it does the slow mo thingy. Alright, so that's basically it. And this tutorial is a very long, not re really very long, but semi long. But to actually do this is just 30 seconds if you're experienced. And I bet you are in 3 days, I guess. So you want to click export and you're going to add render queue after that you're gonna select quicktime i think most of the pcs already have quicktime installed if you don't try to install it and after this you're gonna name the clip like something like inferno uh call it montage now this is gonna export it as a mov which is you're gonna edit later i guess so you want to click render and you wait you drink some a cup of water you play card m i guess and you just wait Alright, it's gonna make that cool sound and uh, let's start up Filmora now.